After the Google presentations that took place on May 10, Microsoft, in order not to lose its leadership in the AI market, also held a presentation. In this presentation, they introduced a new generative AI for Windows 11, which is very similar to Jarvis from the movie Iron Man. Now you don't need YouTube to fix a broken computer, just ask the built-in AI in Windows 11, and it will take care of it. Furthermore, they presented an update for ChatGPT, which is much better than the old version, and now it has become smarter and more functional. Alright, in this video, we will discuss why the new ChatGPT can change your life, why Windows 11 is now the best operating system in the world, and I will also answer the question of whether Apple will release an AI surpassing all these competitors, and if it does, what will it be like? Let's get started. New Chat GPT Update As you know, this year Chat GPT was released, which is already being used for various tasks such as learning, programming, copywriting, and more. However, it only operates based on the knowledge it was trained on, which is limited to information available up until 2021. Recognizing this limitation, Google developed its own chatbot that is intended to be smarter than ChatGPT. It has access to the internet and works with an AI that can generate images from text. I discussed this chatbot in more detail in a video on my channel, which you can check out for more information. Now, Microsoft seeing these new updates from Google, decided to adapt ChatGPT with OpenAI. If you don't know, in January 2023, OpenAI released a chatbot that took the internet by storm, inspiring people to create their own chatbots and even develop AI systems that generate images from text. Here's how ChatGPT works, you ask it a question that interests you, and ChatGPT immediately provides a correct answer, even if that answer is not available on Google. This is because ChatGPT doesn't rely on the internet but generates responses based on its own knowledge. However, this turned out to be its weakness since its knowledge remained limited to 2021. It cannot generate up-to-date news or analyze YouTube videos released after 2021. This is where Microsoft comes in. They invested a significant amount of money in OpenAI and launched their updated intelligent search engine, Bing AI. It instantly provides all the relevant links from websites and news aggregators. Thanks to Bing AI, you can now get a summary of a video without actually watching it. You just need to copy its link and send it to ChatGPT, and it might provide a brief summary after watching it. Furthermore, ChatGPT might be able to provide fresh news for news blogs, which would be useful for quick content creation. However, I want to emphasize that this is a potential feature, and I'm not sure if it can be implemented because the update hasn't been released yet. We have only seen the announcement. OpenAI also announced a plugin and browser for ChatGPT, which has already been released in beta version for paid subscribers. The browser provides access to up-to-date information, while the plugin is an application for chatbots. Now, we have a logical update from Microsoft. All queries for up-to-date information in ChatGPT are handled through Bing. It provides all the necessary Bing links, sources, quotes, and, in general, all the relevant information. This feature should already be available to ChatGPT Plus subscribers, and they promise to open it for free access later. So, now that we understand how the browser works for ChatGPT, let's discuss the update regarding the plugin. The developers decided to create plugins for both Bing and ChatGPT, making them fully compatible. For example, in ChatGPT, there is a Zillow plugin where you can ask to find a home based on various parameters and characteristics for your convenience. I think it's really convenient. Of course, you might argue that Zillow already has search filters that allow you to find homes based on different parameters. However my friend, those are just filters. They don't understand your feelings or desires, unlike ChatGPT. In ChatGPT, you can ask for anything you want, you can even address it as a brother, psychologist, friend, and so on. I hope you understand. Copilot The next thing they introduced is a new AI that works like a new ChatGPT, but it's no longer a separate chatbot. It's your assistant in the Windows operating system. Thanks to this AI, you may have opened this video. Let me explain it in simpler terms. Microsoft is integrating its personal AI assistant called Copilot into Windows 11. This is the same assistant that Microsoft already integrates into Edge, its Office applications, and GitHub. The Windows Copilot, however, will live within the taskbar. By clicking on it, you will open the Copilot sidebar where you can ask it to summarize, rewrite, and explain text in any of the applications you use, as well as adjust your computer settings. Microsoft states that they will begin public testing of this feature next month before rolling it out to a larger number of users. For example, I envision this Windows 11 feature as Jarvis from the movie Iron man, but without the AI voice. Imagine the computer as our system, and the internal assistant as co-pilot. 
I wouldn't be surprised if they add voice control functionality. Just like with Bing Chat, we can ask Windows Copilot a range of questions, from simple to complex. If you want to call your family in another country, you can quickly check the local time to make sure you don't wake them up in the middle of the night. If you want to plan a trip to visit them in another country, you can ask Windows Copilot to find airplane tickets and accommodation for your winter vacation. I think this AI will kill YouTube tutorials because now we won't have to worry too much about system errors. We just need to ask Copilot for help in fixing those errors, and it's potentially ready to assist us in that matter. But these are just my assumptions, reality may be different. Apple AI Certainly, all these updates may seem very small to you because Microsoft didn't introduce a lot of new things in their technology compared to Google in this presentation. Even the length of the company's presentation videos speaks to that. But I believe it's more than enough to motivate other companies to create their own AI. Just look at the new AI for Windows 11, it can hardly be called the 11th version now. It can already be considered a full-fledged Windows 12. Now we can expect new AI from Apple, I think. Because in the technology market, everyone has AI except Apple. Even companies like Adobe and Nvidia have their own unique AI. When can this happen? As we all know, it could possibly be in September when new versions of Apple's smartphones, laptops, and other devices are released. Of course, I can't predict with certainty whether they will have AI or not. But I believe that when Apple releases new AI, everyone will be blown away by it because Apple has always done great things. Some companies even just copy their ideas. As I said in the previous video, if Google does something, others will follow suit. The same can be said for Apple. AI is a steam engine. Sure, Apple may not want to rush too much because creating AI is a lengthy and risky process. However, they still need to strive to do things with quality and speed. In the Microsoft presentation, Satya Nadella's words struck me so profoundly that I will never forget them. It goes something like this, the internet is like a bicycle for humanity, and artificial intelligence is the steam engine. Let's just reflect on these words. When I heard this phrase, it sparked numerous questions in my mind. One of them was, where will we go next? Think about it, the first bicycle was invented in 1817, and if we consider its evolution as the internet, how will the internet change in one or two centuries? For example, just compare the very first bicycle to a modern one. Do you see the resemblance? Well, it seems like only the seat and the wheel are similar. Overall, the modern bicycle is much more technologically advanced, comfortable, lighter, and better in every aspect, a hundred times better. Now, imagine our current internet as the first bicycle, and in the future, it will become so technologically advanced that we can't even fully comprehend it now. The same applies to AI. The steam engine was invented a century ago, and the new engines today are much more efficient, convenient, compact, and so on. You can hardly find similarities between a modern engine and a steam engine because humans have made all these advancements. This showcases our intellect. After this, one can believe that we will achieve great things with AI, and the world will become much more technologically advanced. The words of Satya Nadella imply that in the future, we may be able to accomplish everything with artificial intelligence, and this is only the beginning. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and check out my other videos as well.